All right. Here's a story that I think a lot of you will find interesting. It's sort of an internal media and punditry story. Uh, Dave Rubin was confronted by a couple of students, actually, during recent events. One of the events was sponsored by the right wing organization Turning Point USA. And uh, a student in this first video we're going to look at turned to Dave Rubin and said, among other things, why won't you interview or debate David Pakman? Why won't you debate Sam Cedar or Natalie Wynn? But eventually it got to why won't you interview David Pakman? And if you're not familiar with Dave Rubin, he's a cultural critic and Internet sensation who opens the floor to the battle of ideas by interviewing people, mostly conservative people, uh, since he had a political awakening in which he realized that he didn't leave the left, but the left had let uh, had left him. OK, that that's sort of a summary of uh, one version of Dave Rubin. OK, uh, anyway, I used to sort of be friends with Dave Rubin and we would talk on the phone privately. I at one point had an open invite to do his show sort of like whenever I'm in Los Angeles, I've tried to take him up on that. Last time I was in L.A., it didn't work. It hasn't happened for for a variety of reasons. And Sam Cedar from the Majority Report has actually been trying to debate Dave. I've been hoping more to just have a conversation about ideas that I think are good ones and that I can defend with facts. Um, and he's not done any of these interviews. Some say he's dodging. Others say he's simply correct not to interview bad faith actors like me, I guess, or Sam Cedar. I don't know. So a student confronts him at Santa Clara University a few days ago, asks him about about this. Let's take a look at how it went. Hey, Dave. Um, so I've been watching your program since about like early time in high school. Now I'm in college, so it's been a while. But um, one thing that I really liked, uh, something that you talked about here was the difference between uh, diversity of thought and uh, diversity of identity. Sure. Now, the thing with a diversity of thought is I feel like that's a problem you actually perpetuate on your show because the only time you really have left-wing guests are when they're members of the intellectual dark web, such as Harris or Weinstein, and they're only there for the bulk of the time to uh, talk about the regressive left. And so I pretty much wanted to ask you, why won't you have Sam or Sam Cedar on? Yeah, uh, he's recording it too. Okay. Yeah, I mean the guy's just he's just a dishonest player who's just lied about me repeatedly like I'm not gonna do it. So would you be willing to have Natalie Wynn of ContraPoints or David Pakman or Kyle Kalinsky? All of these are progressives who yeah, have I'm not in principle I'm not against having any of them, but I'm not gonna have people that attack me personally. I think it's pretty obvious if you watch what I did up here. Like I don't attack people personally, I'm happy to talk about ideas. You're gonna go after me personally. You're gonna lie about me and slander me and things like that. Like it's just not the game I'm playing. There's no win in it for me. You know, I have a certain set of rules when it comes to talking to people and how I sort of behave as a public person. And if you don't have rules, like I'm just not that interested. So he calls Sam a dishonest player. He's asked about me and others, and I guess he says in this clip he's not in principle against it, but he's not gonna interview people who attack him personally or who lie about him or who slander him. And when I saw this, I thought. He he can't be saying I'm attacking him personally, right? Or or that I'm lying about him. I mean, he he knows me. We used to text each other, talk on the phone. He's no longer on the left and I'm on the left, but he knows I'm a good faith actor, right? Like I don't think he's including me in that. And just a few days later at the University of Delaware, again, he's asked about me and claims Pac-Man has lied about me multiple times. Take a listen to this. The the audio's not great, but you can hear it. Yeah. All right, can I, let's, let's last one, because I am a leftist, yeah, so, so, dude, so right, got all right, it. easy question. Yes. Is there anyone, I know you won't debate Sam Cedar or the Majority Report, is there anyone on the progressives, uh, David Pakman, or from Counterpoints that you would be willing to discuss, have a discussion with? Anyone that won't go after me, Pacman's lied about me a bunch of times. I, mean, I know he, you had him on the show once. Oh yeah, and I did have him on the show. I mean, again, this but, is what I, yeah, what I would ago. say is, if the lefties that, I haven't, that I've had on consistently, who I think are my good friends, if that's not left enough for you, Pac-Man has lied about me many times. So th this is super deceptive in a few ways. I mean, first he says, oh, yeah, I did have David Pac-Man on. He didn't have me on his current show. He had me on when he was still I think it was on Aura TV. I had done a piece critiquing Reza Aslan and he had me on to talk about that. It wasn't like his current show since there has been, you know, a clamoring for more left wing guests. But more importantly, tell me the lies I told. Right. If there's anything I can be fairly criticized about when it comes to my relationship with Ruben, it's that I've actually been too nice and I've been too fair to him in a sense. I've been asked to comment about him and to be interviewed for multiple articles that I thought might be hit pieces. And I declined just on that basis. I specifically critique Ruben 
without attacking him as an individual. I have not said anything that I knew to be false about Dave Rubin. I might have an opinion that's wrong, right? For example, I've said uh, I don't get how someone has a complete political awakening at nearly 40 years of age where they go from saying they basically like everything Bernie Sanders is offering a few years ago to, uh, you know, the, the kind of Ben Shapiro, et cetera, et cetera, right wing. I don't know how that's possible. It's not an attack. It's my opinion. I'd love to talk to him about it. And he can explain to me how it is that he had such an awakening. He has my number. The first time I supposedly told a lie about him, if David texted me and said, hey, Pac-Man, uh, X was a lie or that wasn't true or I had misspoken, I would have immediately said, I apologize. I don't want to be spreading false claims about people uh, 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 that are out there in the world. I stand corrected and I never would have repeated that so-called lie again. It's never happened. And now he says I've lied about lied about him multiple times and he doesn't name one. Uh, I also think, by the way, that it's very hypocritical. I hope he doesn't think this is an attack. This is just a, a critique of what he's saying. It's hypocritical to use this standard of he won't interview people who make personal attacks or are bad faith actors because he does it all the time, right? I mean, I'm not making a personal attack. I'm saying he makes personal attacks. Here's an example of something Dave has tweeted out to a possible guest named Jack Smith. He said, hey, Jack, you're an embarrassment to journalism, and that takes a lot these days. Come on my show and I'll show you what a real liberal is. Or better yet, you and Jordan Peterson face to face. I'll pay for your flight hotel and all the soy you can drink. Not exactly the catalyst to a civil exchange for the betterment of human understanding, right? Another example to Sarah Silverman, the comedian who is politically on the left, she had tweeted something about how racists rarely think that they are racist. And Rubin responded, just like how entitled progressive celebs think everyone else is backwards and stupid or nah, meaning she's backwards and stupid, but because she's a leftist, she doesn't even realize that she's backwards and stupid. So for Dave to pretend that he's an arbiter of civility as a way to decide who gets on his show is a joke. And secondly, the idea that I wouldn't be civil is ridiculous. I've had civil discussions with white nationalist Richard Spencer, who believes that all sh all Jews like me should go to another country. I had a civil discussion with Jesse Lee Peterson, who opened the show by saying that the show started late because he's black and black people are regularly late and told me I am a beta male because I'm a progressive and I still manage to have a civil conversation with him. So if anyone on the list that was given during these questions by the students in the audience could guarantee a civil discussion, I would argue that it's me. Maybe Dave's not pleased with how our interview went the last time that we did an interview, which was years ago. I don't think he would agree to an interview at this point. Um, we'll be republishing that to YouTube and Facebook at some point soon, since a lot of you didn't see it. Uh, but this is this. I, I don't believe that this is honest. It's not a personal attack, Dave. I'm saying I don't believe that you're being honest. I want to talk with you about what these lies are, and then we can adjudicate them. Let's have the conversation. I may actually be in L.A. Uh, relatively soon, and I'll I'll mention that if I'm going to be and maybe we can actually sit down and have this conversation.